What's happening? You look great. No, you look great. Thank you. I oh, here we go Whoa. again. <laughs> she looks great today. Oh, I'm not falling to the flattery. Yeah, I, 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 am, I am neutral. Not I appreciate girl. the compliment, though. Yeah. A woman likes to be complimented. I know. Does she not? It probably uh, took you to forever to put that up, <laughs> put that outfit together. Wow. Moments. Anyway, <laughs> the question is, who is the better athlete? Was it Bo Jackson or Deion Sanders? Skip Bayless, you have the floor. I do have the floor, and I'm going to keep it for a couple of minutes here because I'm going to make a very strong case. This isn't even close. Good, it's Bo Jackson. Deion Sanders. Oh. Deion Sanders, a much better all-around athlete than Bo ever dreamed of being. Deion Sanders was much better at his best game than Bo was at his best game because I'm not sure which was Bo's better game, football or baseball. Deion was the greatest cover corner ever. He was all-time great at football, while Bo had flashes in the pan. They were spectacular flashes, but he didn't play football very long. What, about four years he lasted until he unfortunately, tragically got hurt and lost his hip? Well, how about a good individual yeah. man? Okay, so in this case, Either, uh, you've got Deion Sanders, who, this is the clincher for me, as an all-around athlete, yeah. he was also oh, all-state in basketball oh, in the big school class in oh, the state of Florida. Bo was a stiff, <laughs> N not very fluid act athlete who was more about brute force and brute power. Oh. So here we have Deion Sanders who made eight Pro Bowls as, as a defensive back. Bo didn't make any Pro Bowls and he made one all-star team because he had one good year in baseball. He, he made one Pro Bowl. Yeah, he made one Pro Bowl. One, I'm sorry, Pro, one Pro Bowl, Bowl yeah. but he made only one all-star right, team one in, Pro Bowl. in baseball right, okay. in eight years. Are you kidding me? Dion was, as you know, Rob, from Cincinnati, he was a very good uh, outfielder who in his one World Series went eight for 15 and hit 533. Well, that's, that's pretty good. And in the end, Dion Sanders was the biggest reason that San Francisco won a Super Bowl over the Dallas Cowboys in the, the 90, um, what was it, 93 season, 93, 94. And he then turned right around and became the biggest reason that Dallas beat them the next year in 95. So that, that's case closed to me because Dion, as, as Barry Switzer once said, it's like our gravity doesn't govern him. He's running at a different speed. He's jumping at a different speed. He's covering at a different speed than anybody we'd ever seen. I'm sorry, I've never seen anything like him. I have to go with Bo Jackson. I, I just think, Skip, when you talk about it, I think what people get caught up with Dion is that you're right. When it comes to football, Dion was a great football player, so you kind of overshadow. But when you're talking about a guy as an athlete who was able to do what he was able to do, which was making all, you know how hard it is to make an all-star game in baseball? And, and, and for Dion, as big of a star as he was, Skip, prime time and all the flashiness and all that, he played nine years in the big leagues and never got voted to the All-Star team. And you know the All-Star team a lot of times is a popularity contest. So it never transcended. No one was able to say, Dion's a heck of a football player, and I love prime time, and I want to see him in the All-Star game, because he was a 263 hitter. That's really what he was. And don't forget, when, it, when you come down to Bo... Wait, Bo, wait Bo, Bo was a 256 hitter. But Bo had hit 32 home runs in a single season. Okay, he had one good year. But he also, but Skip, that one good year, and you remember that all-star moment where he makes a great catch in the, in the first inning against Pedro Guerrero and then comes up in the bottom of the first and hits a monster home run. I, I was Rick there. Marshall. I witnessed and, it and right? in and Anaheim. And people, were, were, they just yeah. were like, this guy's unbelievable. He, his wow factor was bigger than Dion's. That doesn't make him a better all-around athlete. And athlete's. also, this guy had a campaign, you know, the prime time and all that, but Bo knows was as big as any campaign for Does that athlete. make him the greatest athlete No, ever? I'm just trying to tell you how big his scope was and where people thought he fit in. Yeah, I'm... Skip, I'm going with Bo, and I had the, I, I seen Bo in college, so I'm combining college, and I'm combining Because he was a Heisman Trophy frozen. winner. Right. I, I covered him but, a lot in college. Yep. I was at his Cotton Bowl. Playing at the University of Florida. It was two guys at Auburn University who we used to talk about all the time, every time they would come in. And in our dorm room, it was football players and basketball. It was Charles Barkley, and it was Bo Jackson. Those were the two guys that we talked about. For Bo, with the size, I'm looking at the sure size of this guy. You got 230, 40 pounds coming at you with the speed that he came at you. Bo, don't forget, being a running back, 
it, you, you rely on your offensive line. There's a lot more things you have to rely on than, say, being a defensive back like uh, Dion was. So I give Bo credit for that. He didn't run behind some of the best offensive lines when he was running the ball. So I give him credit for that. And just Bo, it, it seemed like, in, it, remember Worldwide uh, Sports or the World ABC, that used ABC? Right. Worldwide. I mean, it seemed like any, world. Every, world every sport, sport that Bo competed in, he was pretty good at cycling. It was just all, everything. I think you're a victim of the the, the ad campaign. <laughs> Bo oh, knows no, cycling. I mean, Bo <laughs> knows <laughs> archery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's but, what Nike but said. Bo knows yeah. 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 But it's just yeah. explosiveness. Yeah. I've never seen a guy, and the only guy, the closest guy to him to me was Herschel Walker. That was the closest guy, but explosive, the size, Bo Jackson all day long. Stephen A. Well, I'll confess that it's a difficult subject for me because I haven't given it much thought because I'm preoccupied with far more better things to talk about. But I will say this. Mm -hmm. Using the eye <laughs> test. Use it. Yeah, I said it. I, that's exactly what I said. But I, I, I'll tell you this. I'll use the eye test. I, when I think about a Bo Jackson, primetime Deion Sanders uh, debate, First of all, my apologies to Deion Sanders because I never loved, I, I never liked speaking against my boy. That's my man, and I just hate it. But I look at it from a standpoint of comparing it like Kobe to LeBron. Kobe is more accomplished. Kobe has established a level of greatness that's, that's, you know, I wouldn't say it's unparalleled because we've seen Michael Jordan do it. But the skill sets and the things that he can do is special. But LeBron James is like a physical freak of nature. There are things about him that simply, you, you know, you can't duplicate. The Bo Jackson, the size, the speed, the power. I mean, he had all of that. But I'm looking at uh, Deion Sanders' ability to cover you know, as a cornerback, to play wide receiver, to do what he's done on a football field. And in the same breath, remember, he played football one day, he played baseball the same night, you know, for the Atlanta Braves in the playoffs. That kind of thing. Just a more accomplished skill set, but just as a physical athlete, I'd give the edge to Bo Jackson. That's how I look at it. That's the best I can do. Stephen A., does basketball matter to you, the ability to play basketball? Because there's there's more gymnastic to it. There's more uh, well, full body control. Well, no, no, no. no. The, I wouldn't say it doesn't matter, Skip, but I have to look at you and what you want to do as well. If Bo Jackson was never interested in, say, basketball, but say he'd rather box or he'd rather do cycling or whatever the case may be, it's what you choose to do that matters. Like me, you can't get me at a plate. I mean, even when I played baseball, I could pitch. You ask somebody can hit, a 10-year-old could hit better than me. I never even tried. It, did, it never mattered to me. But you put me on the basketball court, it was lights out. I was going to take you out of here. Okay. I mean, that's just the way that it was. All right, so Bo was not much of a basketball player because he's a, he was a stiff, brute force kind of athlete. And I respect all, the, that's all the case that you guys are making. But the there are people. People, but there are people who are not stiff who just were not interested in basketball. They just weren't interested. That happens. Then that's why I'm saying you can't do that. Okay. Some people are just not interested in a particular sport. Okay. And just for to, to defend my man, Deion Sanders, on, on the power plane, just, just remember, Michael Irvin and Jerry Rice said they never went up against a stronger corner than Dion, nose to nose in press coverage, very physical in his upper body, able to control those two receivers like nobody else ever controlled them in two of the greatest receiver careers ever. And, and the other thing is, the Dion thing, which is weird, because I'm, I'm about to knock him for being so great, is that the ball didn't even come his way to make uh, plays. You, you know, like after a while, teams stopped throwing the football You, you know there. why? Because but I, I didn't even throw this in as a punt kickoff returner and an interception take it to the house returner that there was never anyone greater as, a, as an all-around return man punts that's kickoffs, true. and interceptions so so there's that's a lot true. of flexibility and a lot of elusiveness side to side and speed and and they still talk about the 40 that that dion ran at the combine where he at the last second he said okay i'll run and he took his sweats off and didn't even stretch and ran 4-2 uh, and everybody was saying what he's incredible yeah. he's, and especially his football career is so off the charts that's what i think clouds everybody's judgment as far as 
multi-athlete. Well, you, it isn't the marketing campaign that he that he, that he spoke of a moment ago. <laughs> yeah. No, not he says that. Maybe, that's but, but your, your job. Yeah. Cloud Mo knows tiddlywinks. We give him, <laughs> all right. Yeah. Well, let's get it straight. I want to make sure we we're going to reveal the winner in just a second. But you you all three have uh, Bo Jackson uh, and you have Deion Sanders. Our viewers have weighed in, and uh, wow. Stephen A won 51 percent to 49. It was really close. I don't close. care. That's unbelievable. <laughs> I don't care. Give Skip well, the well, belt well, to make uh, him feel hold better. On a I don't care. What do you care. mean Stephen A won? Stephen A wins. 51 percent. We kicked him out of our barber shop. He didn't even want to participate in this argument. He said you're, it wasn't interesting right. to him. You're absolutely right. I would have rather taken this this segment off. You're so, absolutely so, correct. Well, I think we should say that Robin yeah, Lomas yeah. won. Yeah. 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 Give it to him. Belt. It's not Stephen. Hold on. I got a question. Yeah, I got a question. I got a question. What's your question? I got two questions. Uh -oh. Two questions. Here Number one, would the belt fit around Lomas's oh, waist? Yeah. Oh, and yeah, number man, two, and, <laughs> <laughs> here we go. Here and we number go. two, <laughs> and number two, and number two, would it match with Rob's latest suit? I knew it. That's it what matches. I want to know. So, look, it does match. It does. Match. I think it's a perfect, it's a perfect yeah, it combination for both Stephen A. Why you clown it in Miami? Lomas. Meanwhile, coming up next, guys, there's a, a big fight this weekend. Lomas put on the belt. We know what it is. It's Pacquiao Marquez four. We debate that. Coming up next, take a look at Lomas in the belt, or maybe. Not. It's Pacquiao oh, Marquez. You got it. That's what. Once you step in the arena, cheetah, you're gonna be amazed when you gaze at the armor on this leader, fully clad and glad to fight a cause I won't pause. Fear is a joke, slow poke. I'm like.